All right, so we are at the very end. So adding metadata, that's what we're gonna learn. I think adding metadata is important if you want to share your content, uh, social media and SEO optimization. So metadata is crucial for SEO and shareability. So in this chapter, we'll discuss how we can add metadata in our Next.js application. So let's first talk about what is metadata. So in web development, metadata provides additional details about a web page. Okay, so metadata is not visible to the user visiting the page. Instead, it works behind the scenes embedded within the page's HTML, usually within the head element. So let's go ahead and inspect this and take a look what it's talk about. So in inside the head, you see there is a lot of meta tag. It is mentions, the name is viewport. Now this is essential if you wanna make your application uh, responsive to different device sizes. So right now we have only two metadata. We can add extra metadata and add OG images, open graph images, Twitter images. So when you are actually sharing with within Twitter or, or Facebook or whatever, um, then it's going to be easier for them to grab the image for your particular post through meta tag. We're just making easier for the shareability purpose. All right, so Metadata plays a significant role in enhancing web pages SEO as well. All right, so making it more accessible and understandable for search engines and social media platforms. So types of metadata. So there is a title metadata responsible for the title of a web page that is displayed on the browser tab. As, as there is going to be a description metadata. So right now you have your two metadatas. One is going to be a description. What is the type of this page? There are keyword metadata, so like keywords, content, keyword one, content. like if somebody search with the keyword, they will find this. There's open graph metadata, like um, open graph title, open graph description, stuff like that. Okay, how can we add metadata to our application? So Next.js has a metadata API that can be used define our application metadata. So there are two ways we can add metadata to our application. Uh, number one is config based, or number two is file based. So let's talk about config based. So we are going to export a static metadata object or a dynamic generate metadata function in a layout.js or a page.js file. Okay, that's config based. The file base is going to be um, has a range of a special files that Next.js provides us, right? Uh, for specifically metadata purpose. So we can use favicon.icon. So let's go back to our uh, this application here. And uh, as you can see here in the public, this favicon.ico, um, it is a metadata file. You can also add apple-icon.jpg. So uh, for a specific logo that you want uh, your users to see if there's on Apple devices. There's icon.jpg, okay? Various uh, favicons and icons. There's opengraphimage.jpg. You can use twitter-image.jpg. You can use robots.txt. You can use, provides instructions for search engines crawling. Like, you can also add some pages if you don't want search engines to crawl. You can just basically say, omit this particular page. You just have to add a robots.txt file. And Google search engines is gonna just look at that file sitemap.xml now that offers information about the website structure so you can actually put like how the structure actually goes in terms of like a menu and menu and navigation so you can put there sitemap.xml so we have the flexibility to use these files for static metadata or we can generate them programmatically within our page within our project right so we can write it hard coded ourselves uh, or we can use a dynamic, like if, for example, like it's a blog post. If that's a blog post, then each blog will have it, the, its own title, its own description, its own keywords, and that's going to be programmatically created, right? So with both of these options, Next.js will automatically generate the relevant head elements for our pages. It's going to be done for us by Next.js. So favicon and open graph image. So. In our public folder, of course, we are seeing right now that there is a favicon.ico um, and there is also an open graph image.png. Okay. Now let's move these images to the root of our app folder. So let's go it needs ahead. to be inside my app folder and instead of root folder. So it has to be inside our app folder, like so. Cool. Now let's go ahead 
and take a look. Let's refresh this. Perfect. As you can see here, now we have all the OG image type, width, height, property, there's Twitter card. These are all are coming from this favicon icon are automatically coming from our next application by moving those two files inside my app folder. Okay, we can also include a metadata object from any layout.js or page.js file to add additional page information like title and description. Any metadata in layout.js will be inherited by all pages that use it, right? So in our root layout, create a new metadata object. So we have our, um, this is going to be a root layout. Let's go ahead and create a met new metadata object. And this is actually going to be, we're going to import this and this is going to come from metadata and that is going to come from next. And let's go ahead and create uh, a metadata object. So export cons metadata, which is going to be type of metadata, like so. All right, which is going to have, and here we are going, uh, we can add all our titles or our information. So you're going to say it's uh, ECME dashboard. We are going to add a description, and then you can see that TypeScript also helps helping me with that. So I'm going to say the official next JS course dashboard build with app router. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add another one. Let's do metadata meta database. And we're gonna say new URL. We're gonna construct a new URL. With this, we're gonna say HTTP S slash slash next dash learn dash dashboard dot versal dot sh that's that's the link for the tutorial that i'm following in this video as well okay and that's it so nextjs will automatically add this title and metadata to our application but what if we want to add a custom title for a specific page so first of all since we added this acme dashboard uh this metadata let's first verify this if it works if it's working properly so we're going to go to our inspect page right now and then uh, open up our head tag and as you can see here this is the title acme dashboard it, it wasn't here this is the meta name description that we just added which is the official lexias course dashboard all right so it is actually working so now this is a hard-coded value right this is going to be true for whatever page you're going to go so even if i so let's go to log in first like so So right now I'm logged in and this is a new page. Please. All right, in the head tag, as you can see here, it's the same, same Acme dashboard, same meta name is description. Uh, so it's it's true for everything. So what if we want in the dashboard to you know say something specific? Okay, so let me go back to the tutorial. So for example, we can go to our invoices page. And here, let's go ahead and import our metadata object. Next. And here at, at the very top, we are also going to do export const metadata which is going to be a type of metadata and here we are we want to change this title to say invoices Okay. So instead of 
right now you can see here uh, I'm on invoices page now it does say invoices uh, and then pipe Acmain dashboard instead of just saying dashboard on all the pages like if you go to customer page you see that it also says it's just Acme dashboard but invoices you now see that invoices Acme dashboard okay so that's specific metadata you can work with all right now this works but we are re repeating the title of the application every page like every page i have to go like for the customer i have to now go customer then pipe and acme all right so that's a repetition instead we can use the title dot template field in the metadata object to define a template for our page titles now this template can include the page title and any other information we want to include so in our root layout so let's go back to our root layout page this is the one let's update the metadata object to include a template instead of like hard coding this one so what we want to do is let's go ahead uh, just here in the title section here we are actually going to open up an object instead of just a string and here I'm gonna say uh, it's gonna take template and it's gonna be a string but here we are going to say um, percent s so that's going to be the variable variability that's gonna be the kind of like the different types of name it's gonna inject it here variable right so I'm gonna say Acme right and I'm also going to say default Okay, the template is going to be here, but default is going to be Acme dashboard, like so. So this is a template, and we can keep the description metabase as is. Now, the person S in the template will be replaced with a specific page title, right? So now in our dashboard invoices page, we can add this page title. So let's go back to our dashboard uh, page, and here instead of writing all this information all we need to do is just write this string invoices and let's go back to information our so our page so if we say home acme dashboard because that's the default customers acme dashboard because that's the default but if you go to invoices that it is now that person s is now replacing with the title that we specify okay now, you can go ahead and practice. You can go ahead and adding this metadata to your login page, to your dashboard page, dashboard customers page, all this on your own. All right, so that actually concludes the tutorial. And congratulations, you have completed the Next.js dashboard course where we learned about the main features of Next.js and best practices for building web application. But this is just the beginning. Next.js has many other features. It's designed to help uh, us build small side projects, our next startup idea, or even large scale application with our team. So there are many, many documentation available in Next.js. So that concludes our tutorial for today. This has all the new features and bells and whistles that Next.js 14 provides us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me throughout the video. If you, if you like this video, please give me a like. Share this video if you think somebody else like you will be benefited this video because these are free information, free tutorials. Uh, the old GitHub repository links that I mentioned, all of this are going to be in the description so you can clone the project, you can start the project on your own and bookmark this page so you can come back and literally if you want to learn about uh, server actions you can just rightly go to that timestamp look for the server actions and learn from this one i hope you enjoyed this comprehensive next.js tutorial from Vercel, and this video is going to be like i said just an additional resource for you so let me know how you find this video and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one